biggest uh, epiphany, if you will, that happened uh, happened when I was attending a uh, Southern Gospel sing-along at our church. I was there to see one of my favorite groups. They were called the Calvary Singers. And uh, this guy broke out a pedal steel guitar. Now, I'd seen a pedal steel guitar before, but I really didn't understand it. I think the guy's name uh, was Hugh Blair. I think he was out of Longview, Texas. And uh, I was just smitten by the sound of the instrument. I uh, couldn't get it out of my head and for days. I mean, I've started listening to more country music and, and, and hearing you know, the, the instrument. I was pretty relentless about it and uh, wanting to buy one, but they were expensive. I finally convinced my dad to take me down to the uh, uh, bank where he was a loan officer uh, to uh, co-sign a note for me. And I, I think I paid 50 bucks a month for two years on that, that pedal steel guitar. My dad also had a friend that worked with him at TI uh, who had a son that played pedal steel guitar that was about a year older than me. His name was uh, Skip Pilgrim. And uh, Skip and I became really good friends. Uh, Skip. Uh, taught me how to play uh, steel guitar. We were somewhat tied to the hip. We were steel guitaring together and uh, Skip also helped me get gigs and uh, you, know, you really didn't know at the time that, that the pedal steel guitar was really going to be the instrument that helped me um, you know, launch a professional career. I spent the time from I was 18 to the time I was uh, 25 pretty much as a side guy playing pedal steel guitar for local groups, uh, you know, a regional act here and there and a, a national act here and there did a little bit of recording. However, when I was about 25, pedal steel guitar started to kind of fade away from country music and I found myself uh, scrambling for gigs here and there and I, I really wanted more charge of my uh, musical direction. Uh, so at that time, uh, I, I made the decision that you know I needed to move up front and become a front guy and start my own band if I wanted any security uh, with that at all. I love the instrument. I still play it quite a bit at home. I do a lot of recording for people. Uh, on the instrument and uh, you know any opportunity that I have to still play out live with it I will but these days mainly I spend most of my time uh, you know, singing, playing guitar.